Math, your dirty math teacher. Marble slides, parabolas, part two. Screen 16 challenge slide number one. The first thing that comes to mind is we want one, it's gonna launch these and then it's gonna go that way. So we want something to collect there and then we want something to collect it here and collect it here. So we need a series of half bowls. So um, I don't know if you know this, but here is a Desmos Pro tip. If you go ahead and click on the particular equation that you want to work with and you wanna double it, right? If you click on the little gear icon, you can duplicate it, right? And in fact, you can also from here change the color and all that stuff. So I'm going to duplicate it. I want one, two, three other ones. So I'm going to duplicate uh, a few other times. Let's make different colors. Let's make this, uh, we already have blue, let's make it green. And this last one, let's make it uh, orange, purple, purple. I like purple. Okay, so we have four different lines here. All we have to do is really kind of tweak the numbers in here a little bit um, because it's a lot easier than just kind of making it from scratch if you know what I'm saying so um, for this as for this red line let's see we, we need another parabola or half parabola on this side and then we need two more on this side so let's actually move this one I think the easy thing to do is would just be to move it down where the uh, y-axis is going to be not at 20 but it's going to be down here at what is this um, a910 at 10 so let's change this where this 20 is not 20. Remember this number at the end here determines how far up or down the y axis this uh, parabola is. So we want this to be at 10. So perfect, we have it there at 10. And then the other thing that we want is um, for the other two on this side to kind of uh, reflect the other way. So. Uh, for this green one. I'm gonna make this one the green one. We don't want this to be less than 15. We want this to be greater than 15 and then shift it down to where the y-axis is at what? At 15. So if I'm going too fast, that's what YouTube is for. Pause the video and, and try to catch up, right? Now, if I'm still going too fast because this is the Dirty Math channel after all and you need more help about parabolas, go watch a Khan Academy video or something because I'm too lazy and I don't get paid enough. So let's go to uh, the last one here. We just need to duplicate this one. Oh, what I should have done was just kind of duplicate this one. I'm going to do this, duplicate it, and move this one down to uh, that? five. Boom, and launch. And it's going to collect each of the stars on their way down. In fact, this last one, I didn't even need to make it or I put a domain restriction, right? It, it could have just, you know, caught them all down there if you wanted. But in any case, screen 17, challenge slide number two in the rows below. Type as many equations or problems as you need to collect the stars. Curious. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big gigantic parabola down here to, to kind of catch it and then uh, kind of drop down after uh, it finishes catching it. So. Let's make a big gigantic one. In fact, let's let's uh, let's be lazy, and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. So, Control C, go back to the screen, Control V. Uh, and the reason you don't see it is because this is way up at 20. We want this to be down here at six, I think, six. And then move this over uh, because it's over here where the uh, vertex is at 15. We want this to be at three. So I'm gonna move this over to three. Okay, that works. Let's actually lower this a little bit more. Let's go to five and a half. How about that? Okay, that way I think it'll catch everything. And also we want the domain restriction to kind of end at three, not 15, at three. That way it'll catch those stars and, and on its way off, catch that last star. Okay, perfect, okay? So there's a bunch of ways you could have done. You could have done an elaborate series of parabolas, but uh, again, I'm too lazy. And this is far more elegant just because it just kind of ends with one half parabola. Work smarter, not harder. Challenge slide number three. Okay, this one is rather interesting. I think what I'm gonna do is if this launches, I think it might be high enough to get that first one, right? Will it catch that first one? And in fact, it'll catch some of those too. But what I kind of wanted to do is I wanted to catch parabolas and then kind of drop and hit that one on its way, way down. So I like this where it is. Uh, I need a big wide parabola. And in fact, I, I think I have it saved from the previous screen. Yes, I do. I want to flip this. Um, right now, the vertex is at what, 15? I want the vertex to be over here at 27. So let's move this over to 27 with, with this also at 27. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, I need the other half. I need to be greater than 27. How about that? Greater. Oh greater than 27. Let's lower it. It's too far, it's too high up at 20. We need this to be what, at, at 
11? Or let's go to 12? Okay. 12, let's see if it catches any of them as it is. So it launches, it catches some of them. Okay, it's too far over to the side. Let's move this over to um, 24. 24 should do it. Make it a little bit lower at 11 and shift this over to 25. Okay, okay how about that? Let's try it now. Okay, so it'll collect some of those and be far enough to do that. Okay, not the prettiest solution, but it worked. So uh, your teacher won't be able to complain about that. Screen 19, challenge slide number four. In the rows below, type as many equations of parabolas as you know, same thing. Um, wow, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm digging the whole wide parabola situation again. What I wanna do is create a big parabola, in my brain at least, your brain might be different, uh, as long as it works, right? So. I want to create a big wide dish of a parabola that'll kind of end right here, right? So click those two stars and right there, drop off and then hit another parabola at the bottom. So they can still have this one saved. I need this to be even wider. So what happens if I add another zero? Okay, that's good. I added another zero, made it pretty wide and then I want to shift this all the way over to 30. How about that 30? Um, and then, oh, this needs to be at 30 as well, 30. Okay, and then let's shift it up so it's kind of closer to the stars and it'll be close enough to touch those stars. So I want it at what, 28-ish? I'm gonna predict 29? 29? Okay, uh, we need this to be wi wider. I just add another zero. Okay, that was too, uh, it feels a little too wide to me. Four, five, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Two, one. That'll work. And then we want to big wide parabola underneath here to catch them as they fall and so I'm just going to do what I did before without a domain restriction and place it in a place where it'll catch all these so let's lower this first of all let's make the vertex end up at 20 and come down quite a few notches to five maybe even six seven six six works uh, launch Okay, so it's inching along. Please touch, please touch the star. Okay, all right, here we go. Yes, success. Okay. Yeah, not the most elegant solution, but whatever works. Screen 20, in the rows below, type as many equations. Okay, this one seems kind of elementary to me. All we want us to do is kind of, we want a, a parabola does this and then launches it with enough momentum to catch another parabola. Um, that'll touch all the, the remaining stars. So, um, again, just gonna copy and paste what I had before. Uh, I can't see it because it's too high. Let's lower this to, what is this, 12? 12, and shift this vertex over where it's at, uh, I wanna say five, I'm just gonna say five. And this ends at five. Maybe even six to six, how about that? Okay, and then lower this even further. So I'm gonna go to 11, even more so, okay. So it'll catch it and then I need a big parabola that'll, that'll catch all the, the marbles that fall from there. So let's go with that. Again, I'm just, again, I'm just copying and pasting what I had before. Let's change this to uh, zero. Okay, with no domain restriction. Uh, and shift this over to zero. In fact, let's see. Okay, uh, make it higher, how about three? Oh, too much, two, one, one and a half. And a half. Okay, I need this to be a little narrower. Four, that'll work. Here we go, I feel good about this one, okay. Ah! Oh, it didn't have momentum. It didn't have enough momentum, fuck. All right, so, um, maybe a little bit, maybe a little steeper launch. Yeah, is that what we need? Okay, five. Uh, and then drop this a little bit just to give it a little bit more oomph, more uh, more momentum on the way down. Let's go to nine. Oh, I don't know, I, don't, I still don't feel good about this one. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Okay, uh, more oomph, okay. Uh, what, what happens if I up the domain restriction to, or lower it to five? Will that, will that give it a little bit more momentum. Uh, yeah, no, it's not gonna do that. Um, okay, 
Let's go to six. Let's go to seven. Yeah, let's go to seven. Yeah! All right. Okay. Is this fun though? So exciting. Um, oh, what did I do? Why did I do that for? Go back to nine. What was it? A nine? A nine? I forget what I had before. Okay, six, seven. Okay, let's make it steeper. Let's make it steeper. Lower this a bit to eight. Okay, hopefully that gives it enough momentum to go all the way up there. Oh, so fucking close. Okay, um, uh, drop this a little bit more to seven. Oh. Okay. Okay, not the prettiest. But what you should get from this is just, you know, the exploration aspect of it. That's that's what we're trying to do, right? We're just trying to learn how to make parabolas. And so what you should have learned or what you should be catching on to is how to make the parabola narrower or wider, right? And so they're just kind of tricking you how to do that with arbitrarily trying to collect stars um, like some the video game or something but as a math teacher this is exciting to me so I can only imagine how exciting it must be for you students I'm being sarcastic screen number 21 challenge slide number se oh this one's f***ing easy what is this why are they giving us the easy one at the end we just need one f***ing parabola to collect the marbles at the launch so okay we do that uh, it's too high well, we want this to go to zero and shift this over to negative 12 so we want this to be plus 12 too wide we want this to be uh, too narrow um that might work i think that'll touch all the stars here we go and sure enough it does hopefully putting you're getting pretty good at this okay last one in the rows below type as many equations as, um i think you only really need one right one gigantic parabola i think that'll do it uh lower this again to zero in fact i don't know why i keep typing plus zero you just need to do that and let's let's shift it over a little bit right we want this not to end at 15 we want this to end at 20 with no domain restriction and in fact, let's make it wider. Let's go to one uh, and then shift this over even further still. Let's go to 40, 30. Uh, let me see. Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna lower this to six and shift this over even more back to 40. Um, 50, no, 45. And then make this wider. Make it add another zero. Oh, shit, too much. 0, 0.0. Let's put um, what's smaller than 0 0.01? 0 0.09? 0 0.08? Okay, okay, okay. Let's shift this over to 50. How about that? Uh, 0, 08, 0, 05. Nope, 6, 7, 7. 7 will work. 7 will work. I know it. 7 will work. Yes! It worked. Last screen is free play. You can make whatever f***ed up marble slide equation you want and try to challenge your friends. But at least for our time here today on Dirty Math, it's over. I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to wait for the next one. Copy tastes so much better when you're done with the activity. With that said, thanks for joining me in this particular Desmos activity. If you liked this particular activity or it helped you at all, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel, even though it's weird to subscribe to a math channel. It helps me reach more students, so help a teacher out. Subscribe to my channel. Let YouTube spread dirty math to the masses, because God knows Khan Academy has enough market share. Give a poor math teacher some love. With all that said, thanks for joining me. See you on the next episode. Bye.